good afternoon in the meantime uh, i think they'll be able to set up the I, i i can take extra time so that i can keep comfortable with the mic with the stage uh, i was asking some of the people uh, do you know kanapur they said okay only the see uh, so i i understood that only the seniors who are in third years or fourth years they know about kanapur and the second years and the first years don't know then i later found out what happened recently in the past 2 years so yeah it's a good thing that happened to cbit uh, we can we can start yeah so good afternoon everyone uh, nice to be at cbit uh, after a long time so i'll take you through my journey what happened from cbit to iim rotak i recently passed out of iim rotak and what brought me here from there so when i was uh, when i was just about to join my engineering cbit was famous because of happy days. yes so what happened happy days but then i joined cbit uh i was in industrial production there were 49 boys and 11 girls so i understood that happy days in this happy days is not different you have to lay your own path and that was when i was inspired by dr jayprakash narayan of lok sata party he was uh, campaigning for systemic reforms political and electoral reforms i was impressed by his ideas and started something called youth for better india uh, a citizen movement for the youth on behalf of the youth for systemic reforms so the first thing that we took up was in 2000 around 2010 most of the students even today if they travel in a general bus this this would be the situation they will all the way throughout from mayapatnam to our college or from hyderabad to any part in uh, any college in ibrahimpatnam this would be the situation so in 2010 there were three accidents in 10 days where the students fell down from the bus because they were foot boarding and the buses ran through them so we thought since i am a student we talk about systemic reforms i should be able to do something to make this situation better or not to repeat this not to happen not, not this to happen repeat again so what we did was we did a signature campaign collected 15000 signatures submitted to the government the government said that if we increase the number of buses at the peak time the buses would come back empty in the morning during the morning and at the evening they'd go empty so that would be a loss to public again because rtc is run with public money so we suggested that we observed that the general buses the ordinary buses they were full overcrowded but the metro buses there was lot of space why because most of the students travel by student bus pass so what we did was we suggested them to at least have a nominal amount if a student has general bus pass by with a nominal amount he should be able to travel in metro bus the government got something called combination ticket where if you have a general bus uh, bus pass you can travel from any place to any place in hyderabad at a cost of only 7 rupees the cost of combination ticket is now 10 rupees millions of combination tickets are being sold every year what happened with this the convenience to the public increased occupancy and revenue for the government increased the over burden or the overload on the uh, ordinary buses decreased that was how we could come up with a win win solution this is our youth for better india what we did through youth for better india was a campaign for uh, uh, against corruption we campaigned for the lokpal bill during the annazar movement we led the anti corruption movement we involved around 1 lakh youth in the then united andhra pradesh that uh, uh, finally the lokpal bill was out but unfortunately the lokpal is not yet constituted so next comes this issue in 2015 i saw a newspaper keeping where it said that you know ntr stadium yeah, where is it nearby indra park so there was supposed to be a construction the government was planning to construct telangana kala bharati in ntr stadium so i was not against the construction of telangana kala bharati but i was against the construction of the location there was there, there are already lalita kala dornam harihara kala bhavan ravindra bharati shilpa kala vedika in hyderabad how many of us are visiting there or going there to watch a kuchpudi or a kathakali not many right but ntr stadium every week 
more than 2000 youth use the stadium for physical activity for sports for games now that's the uh, center of, in the center of hyderabad that's the only stadium that's available for the youth to uh, involve in some kind of physical activity i did not want government to rob the students of their place of the youth to rob them uh, to get uh, that place uh, robbed by the uh, government so what we did was we did a campaign against the construction not only against the construction we also proposed alternative <coughs> solutions we also gave list of alternate places where the government could go ahead and construct and uh, finally we also saw political support huge political support from different various political parties and then the government took back their decision, decision thankfully and then uh, you might have been told that I contested GHMC elections. Uh, GHMC, uh, Greater Hyderabad Municipal Corporation, uh, it's a municipal corporation of Hyderabad. It happened in 2016. So, for a normal youth, for a middle class youth to contest in an election, why did I want to contest elections? Because they, uh, through a lot of RTIs, there were statistics which came out of how the GHMC was thriving on corruption. So I thought, if GHMC thrives on corruption, let me stri strive through election. So when I wanted to plan, I planned to contest elections, but for any middle, middle class youth, the major hurdles if you try to contest any elections are, one, pressure from family, not only your family, but rounds of pressures, and there will be a lot of sittings and discussions with your relatives, distant family members, Money, money is a very big issue in politics. You might, you, might, you all might know. The G, GHMC in the GHMC elections, I was allowed to spend five lakhs by uh, the cutoff given by the election commission was five lakhs. Even that amount, I was not in a position to be uh, to be able to spend. Local touch. I stayed in CBIT hostel. CBIT hostel is near, here nearby, and I had to contest in GHMC. This does not come under GHMC. So I had to go to a new uh, division. Tell people that I am from somewhere else, but I want to contest here, I want to serve you. Election system. In the present election system, if you know, people, they won't vote for the third candidate, third best candidate or uh, by this, I mean that people, when they vote for the, uh, when they don't vote for the top two candidates, they feel that their vote would get wasted. So they will always try to remove the worst person or uh, they'll try to elect, elect the last second best person. So, but so because of this kind of system, uh, it, it's always difficult to convince people to, to vote for the best candidate. They would always want to vote for the second worst candidate in the present election system. They were, we, as a Lok Sata party did not have any strong political cadre. The, that was one of the difficulties. These are the challenges that I had to face and I had to overcome. So, how did I overcome these challenges? So we went for innovation. So if, during election time, the hoardings, they cost a lot, some 40,000 or 50,000, the standard hoardings that you see wherever you go. So what we did was we came up with a unique campaign. Our hoardings are not static. They will be moving around the constituency. And our campaign theme was pollution-free campaign for corruption-free governance. And this was, uh, we took 10 rickshaws, mounted uh, the uh, uh, holdings on them and we let them move around the division and did, this caught a lot of attention among the public. Media, managing media during elections is very tough. Uh, if you are a politician, you will know that media will give you space only up to uh, one year below, before the election or six months before the election. During the election time, it's all bought. Every space is bought. You need to spend a lot of money to get, uh, get the media's attention. So we went for innovation again. So on the nomination day, we did something called, uh, our team came up with this unique idea, selfie with the corporator. So all those who wanted to say, take selfie with the future corporator could take selfies with me just outside the nomination uh, uh, government office. So that caught media's attention. This was actually in the uh, Telugu largest daily Inadu paper. Uh, this page was dedicated only uh, for the politics and uh, very few people get into that page uh, at, especially during the nomination period because it's only for two to three days and all the nominations happen during the same time and then this happened I observed that a lot of people were talking about public problems except corruption all the parties were talking about all the other problems except corruption 
So I took up this issue. I raised my voice on this issue. I brought out statistics of how GHMC was so corrupt that for a 50 rupees vaccine, uh, uh, for the dog vaccine of 50 rupees, they are spending actually five, around 5,000 rupees. So when I spoke about this, it stuck a chord with the public. Today, this video of mine reached 1 crore people. Only on Facebook, it has around 5 million views. So, manifesto. My manifesto was not only about what I will do. Uh, most of the politicians don't actually mention what they did previously. So, even when I was not in politics, I did a lot to the public. I only told them that if you get me elected, I can do it with an authority, with a position of responsibility. Even otherwise, I will be willing to do. But if you give me that power, I will be able to do more. This, uh, this was uh, this is a, a more, uh, campaign, my campaign theme. And then I also showed the difference between me and other candidates. I told them uh, explicitly, uh, all the politicians understood when I mentioned uh, others, they understood that it is they themselves. And when I compared, I told them that whether I am elected or not, I will keep striving for systemic reforms. I have been fighting for systemic reforms. Whether I win or lose, it, it is I am indifferent to it. I will keep striving for systemic reforms. And during the entire journey, uh, you might know many of you uh, are scared of politics. Some of you don't don't even want to know about politics. Some of you are some of during the entire journey, what kept me going? A lot of people come and go back or. They just try to enter, but I will give you a few examples of what kept me going. This guy, Purna Chandar, he does not know me, I don't know him. He saw my previous speech that, that, that I have shown you, the screenshot of the speech. He stays in uh, Huzurabad, in Karimnagar. He studies in Varangal. He, one day he messaged me on Facebook saying that he wants to campaign for me. I said, okay, okay. Uh, I know that a lot of people call us during campaign because they want money. They want to campaign but they will take a lot of money. So I did not get back to him. He then messaged me. He texted me on mobile phone. I did not reply. Then he called me. I think he understood. He said that, Anna, I don't want anything. I only want my food and accommodation to be taken care of. So I called my team. I told him, let him come. Let, him, let us see what he can do. He came there. He campaigned for 20 days. He did not ask a penny. And after two years today, he is here, he is also helping me in my new endeavors. He is one among you, he is sitting right there in this hall, you can find him later. Public funding. So as I told you, the 5 lakh limit, even that 5 lakh rupees, I did not have the money. So what did we do? We went for online campaign. What I found, what I was surprised was that people, that is not an age of Paytm, Paytm was not there. There was no beam, there was no UPI. So you could not instantly transfer money just like that. You have to go, go through online banking. So people donated 200 rupees, 300 rupees. Can, do you imagine if you share a link that goes to somewhere, they will open it, they will enter all their login details, account details and transfer 200, it will take uh, almost 10 minutes to transfer 200 rupees. But understand the intention behind. I, I was moved by the intention. They want to support but they don't have the money or the resources to support me to that extent. But a lot of people, I understood that a lot of people wanted change, they are ready to support change and that we are getting nearer, it's only that we need to push it harder. So that really kept me going. Something special, yes, uh, these children, uh, they came to me, they gifted this balloon uh, with my poster on it, saying that the poster, look, uh, the balloon looks like this. So they wanted me to win the election. I, I said thank you and I asked them, tell me who sent you here. They said, Anna, we only came, Anna, we only did this. It's okay, uh, I thank you very much, but please tell me who sent you here. So they were offended, they were disappointed, I understood that. So I twisted the question and, and asked them, what made you tell me that, I? what made you think that I should win the elections? So they told me that, Anna, morning when the media people came, we watched you. We saw you, you were talking about women's safety. You told that you will, uh, uh, you, will uh, uh, you will install CC cameras in the entire division uh, for uh, preventing, uh, for the sake of women's safety. 
so we like the idea our mother all is always scared to go out in the night time or when she is alone so we want her to be safe so that is why we think that if you can do that thing one thing women security will be improved in our division and hence we want you to win election so that actually i cannot uh, i don't want to tell how i felt but yeah also uh, a wife of a politician uh, she came she met me she uh, reportedly uh, she uh, she told me that she fought with her husband the previous night why so she wanted to sit as election agent on the po polling day on the election day for on behalf of me on behalf of my party her husband was a political leader local level leader so her husband begged her that please listen to me this one time if you want you go and vote for him but don't sit as a polling booth agent our party will remove me they will think that i am very inefficient so that does not uh, is not is against feminism or is against any uh, feministic attitude but she told me that so uh, i did not i cannot come out but my vote is for you so that means that when i i understood that i was even able, able to even win the hearts of opposition leaders or the family members of the opposition leaders that means there is something worth in the campaign that i am taking up or there is something worth that the in the cause that i am fighting for so that kept me going i got only 4% of the total votes total votes poll uh, but i did not give up yeah i i really did not give up i promised the people that whether victory or loss i will be indifferent to it i will keep continuing for systemic reforms and then uh, in 2016 uh, i got a report saying that uh, you all pay property tax if you know in all the municipalities yeah so in the property tax that you pay 8% of your property tax is collected as library cess okay this law came in act came in 1962 8% of the property tax is collected as library cess so by cess itself which means that the entire money should be allocated to that purpose particular purpose only but again to know that between 2006 and 2013 ghmc collected 340 crores of library cess 340 crores of library cess they have collected and they have uh, reimbursed only 40 crores 39 crores so 300 crores of library cess they are not even remitted to the libraries and the public libraries are very bad people are being double taxed how on the one hand you are paying, paying library cess and on the other hand we will go to all the people uh, all the students preparing for civil services or groups they go to reading rooms and they spend 1000 or 2000 per month so this is double taxation i wanted to fight against it so i filed uh, public interest litigation i understood that the law is there all we need is it to be implemented so i went to the high court of telangana and andhra pradesh i filed a public interest litigation and the government had to accept that they were, they were at fault and now the government is working on uh, improving the libraries they have constructed they have sanctioned 10 crores for hyderabad they they have con re constituted zilla grandalaya samitis after uh, only after i filed the petition uh, it was around 3 years that they did not order any new books only recently they have ordered new books and uh, there is lot of work yet to be done but the at least government acknowledged it and started working on it so i went to i am rothak then even then i my instincts or whatever i wanted to things that i wanted to do i wanted to have an atmosphere where i'll be able to pursue those my passion so i created a community and then we started a public policy club there so niti it's still running we used to have guest lectures in public policy from bureaucrats we had a sessions on right information act etc so now what am i doing now uh, i recently started a political consultancy panchajanya strategies so what do we do to panchajanya strategies we work with the politicians existing politicians itself we try to improve governance with the existing infrastructure we also want to make politics professional we want a lot of youth youngsters who are interested in politics we want to show them a direction or try to set up a system where entry of a, a person a idealistic who is thinking of uh, reforming the system would be easy we also want to build better leaders for the country in that you can also uh, there are two sections build the capacity and capability of existing leaders 
also bring in uh, also get good elected uh, good leaders get elected uh, office so this is what i am pursuing now, now all during the entire journey uh, i went to iim rohtak for just for placements okay uh, i lost elections uh, lok satta party said that they will not contest elections anymore i had no other option so i went to iim rohtak i wanted a, only a good placement but today i am here because i did not sit for placements i thought thought about it and i, I wanted to continue or uh, that is the only thing that i have showed is that perseverance whenever i got doubt or when i step back i took some time and got back to the, my passion things that i love that i have been doing so i request you all also the you find the thing that you are passionate about, about that you love or that you enjoy and also that can make the world a better place if you can can find that passion of yours and keep working on it someday you will achieve success